Hello and welcome to Dynamic Mixing. My name is Aaron and today we are going to talk about high pass filters and how you can use them to clean up your mix. In case you aren't familiar with them, a high pass filter is an EQ tool used to cut out low frequencies from a track. I go into greater depth on my blog post and would encourage you to go and read through that if you are new to the high pass filter. I attached a link for it in the description below. There are a lot of reasons to use high pass filters. Some common ones include using it to clean up any rumble or recorded mechanical noise that may have gotten picked up in the mic, like an air conditioner. It can also be used to help make more space for the kick and bass to stand out and eliminate some low end muddiness from the track. So here I have an example of a song with and without the high pass filter enabled. And I have it set to switch between them every two measures. Give it a listen and see if you can tell the difference. Depending on what you're listening through, there may not be much or any change in the recording. You may notice a little change if your system has a subwoofer. But just to show that I did something, here's all the audio that I cut out using the high pass filter. It's not too loud, but you can definitely hear that it has a low, muddy quality to it. And you can see on the EQ that it's mainly frequencies under 200 Hz. And by getting rid of the lower frequencies, it should make a little more room for the kick and bass in that range. And when people are listening to music in their car or stereo with the bass setting cranked, they won't be boosting all these muddy frequencies along with the kick and bass. I'm going to take us through adding high pass filters to a song's track and how I go about setting the frequency cutoff for each track. It doesn't matter what DAW you use, but I'll be demonstrating this in Reason. Some plugins let you adjust the cutoff frequency as well as the slope, or how fast the frequencies drop off. But today I'll only be focusing on adjusting the frequency. In Reason, every track has a high pass filter built right in the mixer, but with other DAWs it's common to be an equalizer plugin. You then want to insert a high pass filter on every track that you want to cut out the low end. I'm going to put it on everything but the kick and bass on this song. I'll start by soloing the first track and hitting play. You'll probably want to have it looped too. I'll then have, make sure the frequency knob is down to zero, and I'll enable high pass filter. And then I'm going to turn the frequency knob up until I hear an audible difference in the sound. And then I'm going to dial it back down. Then I'm going to turn the filter off and on to see if I can tell a difference. That sounds pretty good right there. So what I'm trying to do is cut out as much of the low frequencies as I can without losing the quality of the track. I'll then move on to the next track. I'll have to adjust my loop here. I'll go ahead and center this for now. 
Same thing with the frequency. Pretty good. Next track. And move on. And for these overheads, I'm not worried about getting the rest of the drums in there. I'm going to just try to focus on the sound of the cymbals. So I know the kick and snare sound a little weird, but the simple still sound good, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. Moving on to the electrics. Okay, and I'm also good getting rid of the low end just to you know, help clean up the low end there. Also, you can use a Spectrum EQ to help you kind of see what's going on, which can be a great tool. But I'd also encourage you to really get used to listening to your ears, not just looking at the frequencies to try to pick out the right spots. So let's keep going on here. This is a pretty high guitar, so I'm going to do a lot of cutting out here. Okay. Same with this one, I'll probably cut out a little bit more in the low end. Okay, and for this piano, I know it's a real full-bodied sound, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and be a bit more aggressive with my high-pass filter on it, too. You can hear the difference there, but my hope is that by doing this, the bass and kick are going to shine all the more. Moving on. And one thing to note, especially when doing like vocals, um, I have it at a part of the song where I sing very high, so I'm going to go back to a lower part of the verse and see if it still sounds good. On a mission for your glory. Yeah, I was a little too aggressive there, so I'm going to pull it back down. Here I lead with cynicism. 
you say Go to every nation Still I fear I'm doing it wrong Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I am trying to figure this out And I I'm trying to fit. Yeah, that sounds pretty good right there. Thanks so much for checking this video out. Please leave a like if you learned something, or subscribe to my channel to be posted on future updates. And let me know in the comments any other tips you have on using high pass filters.